Hi guys, it's Nick Varios, and this is Fashion School with Nick Varios. Today, I want to discuss fabrics, but in particular, silk fabrics, my favorite. Okay, now I remember when I was young and I was an aspiring fashion designer going to fashion school, I would have loved to have seen a video telling me the difference between all the kinds of silk fabrics. Like, what's the difference between silk georgette, silk chiffon, silk duchess? So guess what? This is for all you guys. So the next time you go to the fabric store, you have a step up on Fabric 101. Let's start with crepe back satin. This is silk crepe back satin. So notice the front is satin, shiny, and the back is crepe, matte. Now this is great for drapey dresses. Think of 1930s gowns. It's also fabulous for bias cut. Look at this, when I go like that, it stretches when it's on the bias. This is so luxurious, silky, flowy, fabulous. Silk charmeuse. Now silk charmeuse, a lot of people get confused with the satin back crepe. Satin back crepe though is heavier, but it's still a shiny. But the silk charmeuse doesn't have a crepe back. And because it is lighter, a lot of people would rather use this for blouses. But you can also do bias cut gowns in this because it's got that same liquidy effect of the satin back crepe. Organza, one of my favorites. I love saying organza. Organza is very crisp, silk organza. Luxurious again, very crisp, drapey. You can see when I fold it, look at the folds and the luster that it has. Think of those floaty ball gowns and cocktail dresses. I love organza. Next up, sheer chiffon, silk chiffon. Very tissue thin, very delicate. Now you can do this by gathering it and it creates this floaty, floaty effect. I love using it. Now Yves Saint Laurent back in the day was famous for using silk chiffon in his transparent blouses that caused a scandalo. Georgette. This is a printed Georgette. A lot of people get Georgette and chiffon confused. Now I don't know if you can see the difference but the chiffon is more see-through. The Georgette is not as see-through, but still. But what makes it also different is the Georgette has a pebbly texture that you can feel, all right? And it's a little heavier weight than the chiffon. Duchess Satin. This is Duchess Satin. Again, very elegant, very expensive. A lot of people love to use the Duchess Satin for wedding gowns, mermaid gowns, a lot of red carpet dresses. You can do a lot of structure, a lot of drape with it, and it's got that elegant sheen to it as well. Zebeline, very alta moda. Haute couture fabrication. Look at that sheen. Look at how lustrous it is. And it's great for draping and pleating. Very architectural. Now, this is a silk wool. You can feel it. It's got a long nap on the wrong side. You can just feel that wool in there. And it does create that heavier weight to it. And it's got a slight twill effect in the texture of the fabric. Taffeta. Of course, we all know taffeta. Why? Because it's a little noisy but it's still fabulous and great. Very crispy fabrication, great for pleating. Again, great for dresses, cocktail dresses, evening gowns, and a lot of structure as well. Habitai, silk habitai. Very light, lightweight satin. Very similar to Charmeuse, but even lighter weight and slightly transparent. What I love to use habitai for is lining because it is so lightweight, tissue thin, but not as transparent as chiffon or Georgette. Finally, jersey, silk jersey. Silk jersey is the A-list of all knit jerseys. It is a stretch, see? Look, it stretches. What this is great for is those Grecian goddess gowns, those one shoulder gowns, twist knot, drapes. Why? Because you can fold it, you can drape it, and it stretches, it folds and molds the body fabulously. And it's very expensive as well. Okay guys, that was Silk Fabrics 411. Now stay tuned for my next video in which I will discuss sequins. Thanks for tuning in to Fashion School with Nick Barrios. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And for more detailed tips and tricks, make sure to get my new book, A Passion for Fashion. It's available on Amazon.com.